<laughs> What's up, YouTube? Another video here. Today, we're gonna try to make a rear seat delete for the Mustang. I already kind of like took the seat out. It's already in my, in my garage. So for the rear seat, there's some like little clips right here that you just like, you're supposed to pull, but mine were broken so I can just like pull my seat out whenever. You got two screws right here on the side. That's what holds the seats in place. And then you got a bolt right here. I believe they're 15s. Loosen them up and then get them off. So just use those and then you should get these seats out with no problem. And just like that, your seats should be removed. Now, it's up to you if you want to leave this screw here. I'm going to leave it here so I don't lose it. Because I tend to lose things a lot. But uh, next, you're going to want to remove these things right here. All right, so once you get your Torx bit, just start taking these puppies off. All right, got those puppies off. Now it's up to you if you want to take off your seat belts, <clears throat> but if you do want to, I believe these are 13, 13 mil uh, sockets. All right, so now that you took out the rear seats or whatever, you're gonna want to trace it out whenever you're inside the car or whatever. Cause I, I was watching some YouTube videos and they're all saying these numbers. And for some reason, mine were short and that one was too long and it was too short here, but I mean, that's why it's just cardboard. You know, we can always add cardboard and then get it to the way that you want it or whatever. So looks like we're gonna have to add a little bit right here, right here, whatever, and then go a little bit to the front, add some so it can look all nice. So this is the mock-up that I have for it. Sick, don't judge, but uh, yeah, I had to add all this cardboard because I was missing some, you know. But uh, once I get that temper wood, it should look all good. I'm gonna wrap it in carpet and all that stuff. And I'm gonna paint the back black so you can't see it whenever the trunk is open. But um, let's see. Oh, and I was thinking about putting like some latches right here just so it can open up or or whatever. Putting like some Velcro. Putting some Velcro right here at the bottom or like a little, I don't know, something to to keep it in place. Not that it'll move or anything, but I hope that it doesn't move, but just so it could look a little bit nicer. What's going on guys? You already know there's a racing league here. Yeah, shut the fuck up. Just <laughs> 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 to my bro, my tocayo, just interrupted him for the vlog. Y'all already know. I right, let, let him get to it. All right, so got the gang up here with me. We're tracing out the, the seat with uh, the cardboard for the wood material. <laughs> we got this ugly boy, he's shy. <laughs> I'm just saying. But uh we got Dr. Christian, y'all's favorite person in the world. <laughs> Tracing it out for us so we can cut it out. Alright, let him know what we're doing, Christian. We uh cutting out hey. a cutting out a rear seat delete. Yeah. Yeah I did. Yeah, that's weird. Gets me on my heart. <laughs> 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 no, but we're doing, doing a rear seat delete. We, uh, motherfucker, uh, yeah. This is the second part of the video. I already recorded the intro and all that stuff yeah, a couple of days ago. Yeah, we're gonna do this. Kind of traced it out. It kind of looks like shit, but it's all right. All right, so we already kind of like traced it out. Can't really see it. It's all right there. <clears throat> but now you're gonna have to find uh, like a sawzall or something to cut out the wood. So we'll do that here in a minute. Yeah, ready? Let's do it. Bruh. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking fail. Damn it, bro. Uh, yeah. All right, now we cut this, the car cardboard or whatever off. Now we're going to spray some glue on it and then the carpet. Got that carpet from where? From O'Reilly's. I think it was like 24 bucks for two pieces of carpet. And I got this. Just spray on glue, spray on, put the carpet on. Mm -hmm. Capiche, capiche. Jeez. Got the bottom piece in. Looks all right. I don't know what I'm gonna do right here. Guess I could, I don't know. So far it looks pretty good. It's a little late, but that's how it came out. Looks pretty good. Um, you can't really notice it until those little spots right there. But uh, other than that, I feel like it looks pretty good. 
you would even notice it got kind of dark so i had to rush it but i feel like everything looks good on it tried to spray some spray paint didn't paint it correctly but fuck. what do you guys think pretty good pretty good pretty good what about you huh what do you think bro i'm watching shorts dude no i'm just kidding uh about what the rear seat delete y'all wanna go look at it oh my god i did so bro you know it looks good i did it <laughs> Hey, that was actually pretty solid, bro. Yeah, to be honest, I, I cut that pretty good. <laughs> While you guys are goofing off at where the hell y'all went. I gotta head out. So, say something to the vlog. Till next time. <laughs> <laughs> say something to the vlog. <laughs> Comment on my eyes. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Tell what? Huh? Till next time. Day number three. Uh, I guess I got to give a review on how the rear seats came out. Y'all can see it right there. It looks pretty, uh, pretty good. It looks pretty good. It doesn't even look like it was homemade. You know, I have to spend three hundred dollars, four hundred dollars on a rear seat delete whenever you can make it out home for fifty bucks. So, so, I didn't know how loud it was. I'll try to include a clip on uh, the acceleration in the video. But this is what it sounds like inside the car now. It's still kind of loud than what I did with the seats. But it's not as loud whenever it was open back there. And if you have a Coyote or if you're good in any kind of car, you know how loud it can get. But uh, I just want to give a special shout out to my boy Christian. My boy Sage for helping me.